K Mark, a uh, very difficult weekend for this team. Just what has to change tonight against the Devils? Uh, I mean, obviously our starts. Uh, I think in Montreal we had a good start. We could have put a few away early and uh, maybe changed the course of the game, but we let them hang around and then they just took it to us. And uh, in both games, I, I thought our execution wasn't there, our work ethic. Uh, it's all around. We just got to wash those games out and start fresh. Does the team need a wake up call sometimes during the season? Would that classify itself as a wake up call? Yeah, I, I think we got a little too high on ourselves after the first two games after break with uh, scoring five and then scoring seven. And I mean, that's not our style. We're not going to win games like that. And uh, I think we got a harsh reality in the next two games. And uh, hopefully those two just wash or those four games wash each other out and then we can start fresh again and get back to those closer uh, more tight-knit games that we've been winning and staying in for this year. On a side note uh, last year we were talking about you coming back to New Jersey today it's uh, your former goalie that's coming back to have his jersey retired just how cool is it to be a part of that and what can you tell us about Marty Brodeur as a teammate? Yeah I mean he's obviously a, a special goalie he's, uh, he's a great guy he one of the most knowledgeable hockey guys I've ever been around. He, uh, yeah, I mean, everything's obviously very well deserved and uh, yeah, happy for him. It was, it was a dream come true playing in front of him. Uh, I mean, he's obviously broken every record possible and uh, yeah, a great guy too. When you came to this team, and, and not the Oilers, the Devils obviously, and you broke into the league, you, you look at back there and it's like, yeah, Marty Broder is my goalie. Is that kind of, is that kind of weird because I mean, he was in the league for a while before you got here, and you were probably just a kid watching him break into the league and win Stanley Cups and do what he was doing. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It was. Uh, I remember I was uh, first time I really noticed Marty was in. Uh, I think 2001 when Ray Bork won the Stanley Cup against the Devils, and uh, just that whole playoff series is really because I was a big Ray Bork fan. I started noticing him throughout that whole series and how amazing he was, and uh, ever since then, kind of just kept an eye on him, and I mean. The way he plays the puck always fascinated me. And a couple you, goals. Yeah, it was, it was amazing playing with him. There was the third defenseman out there. You know, you got hit a lot less. You didn't have to break it out as much. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that, like, he's a, he's a cornerstone of the game today. And, you know, I mean, they made a rule about him, the trapezoid. So, you know you're doing something right when they got to try to limit your skills.